Hi, this is Minder Chen. Um, in this sample spreadsheet, we're going to show you some really, really basic um, concept that you need to know in order to use spreadsheet effectively. And we often use Excel spreadsheet to develop a simple decision support model to help us to analyze um, the data that we have in making projections and analysis, etc. So in this spreadsheet, we have um, the sales data from a music player store, as indicated here. And the store sells a number of music player, um, like iPod Shuffle is listed here. And the B column over here uh, is the unit cost for each of the product. The C column here is the unit price um, that um, the store sells to its customer. The D column here is the actual uh, sales in 2006. And in this case, it's the quantity, number of units sold in that year. Our job here is to create um, um, the projected um, number of units sold in 2007, and also um, calculate the gross sales uh, for 2007 and the potential profit, etc. So let's just tackle this projected 2007 sales. And remember, this is the number of units sold. And we're going to make a really simple assumption, which assume that all the products listed here will have a 10% increase in terms of number of units sold. So how can we express that uh, assumption uh, in the spreadsheet? Um, first of all, make sure you um, select um, the column here, which is E5, column E and row phi and, and the cell uh, the cell is referred to as e phi so make sure you you select the cell e phi and once it's selected uh, we can we'll come here in the uh, in the formula area to enter um, the formula so the formula here is we're going to um, use the previous year sales and times I put in parenthesis um, times one plus ten percent. Um, basically, we're making assumption there will be a ten percent increase in terms of the quantity sold from the previous year. So I hit the enter key. So the system will show me the uh, the increase to sales by 10% uh, here. If you want to look at the formula, you come here and look at the formula. And the rest of the product will use uh, the same formula. Um, and but certainly, in this case, we need to refer to, I need to move here, I need to move here to the formula um, box here. And I need to click uh, instead of the previous product, I actually need to choose this product um, in the same row. And the formula is basically still the same. Um, so that would do it. But it's very tedious if I have a, a, a lot of rows, a lot of product here, I'll try to enter that formula repeatedly. Um, it, it's a waste of time. So a better way to do this is actually using copy and paste. So I'm going to just make a copy. And then I can just highlight the whole area of all the rest of the product. And then I can just simply say paste. In this case, it doesn't hurt to kind of double check and make sure that the formula being pasted is what you expected. Okay. So I'm referring to, for this iPod Shuffle, iPod Shuffle, I'm referring to uh, the 
D6, which is um, 2006 iPod shuffles, um, number units so. And the formula is 1 plus 10%, uh, so times that. Um, that's what we're going to get. Um, so you can move down. You find out that when we copy and paste, we're not just copy the D5 and paste it to the rest of the cells. We actually are adjusting D5 uh, accordingly. Uh, so it's referring to the um, the cell in the previous column, okay, on the same row instead of referring to uh, D5 all the time. And actually, that's what we needed. That's what we want. Um, so this looks fine. And another shortcut to make this copy and paste is, is the following. I'm going to highlight this whole region. I'm going to clear the content. So that's the original formula for the first row. If I need to copy and paste, I can just drag this handle. You see this handle here? I drag this handle and to cover the whole region. And then if you look at the formula, it has been done properly for us. Okay. So this is how we would um, finish this column. Um, however, if you really look at um, what we have done here, you find out that um, in, in making a forecasting model, a lot of time we we'll like to play with the number. For instance, you may say, hmm, next year um, the economy may not be doing so well. Uh, so maybe instead of 10%, the increase uh, may need to be changed to 5%. So the number will change, but then you have to change the rest of it. In this case, it's probably not so difficult. You, you may certainly drag and drop again. However, a better way to do this is to um, change this parameter 5% um, instead of hard-coded, as I usually will refer to, hard-coded this number here. I'm going to just ref I'm going to just actually create a cells over here which have already been created and in the cells I2 I enter a number 10% 5% whatever and so instead of referring to enter the number I'm going to just refer to the cell in this case 10% Okay, and then if I drag it down, you find out that um, if you pay attention, you'll find out actually the number is not the same as it used to be. Okay, let me repeat that for you. If I now, I change the 10% to I2 to refer to the cell. Now if I drag it down, if I drag this to copy and paste okay and we'll find out that uh, the number is different okay why it is different this change to d6 that's fine d7 but what happened is this is the percentage the percentage is always referred to i2 um it is referring to your different things okay if i click here you find out it's referring to um, I4 in this case, and that's not what we wanted. We want the system always refer to this 10% to this cell I2 because that parameter is fixed um, even when we copy and paste the formula. But how can we fix that percentage um, when we're referring to a cell reference? And this is where we need to discuss the concept called uh, absolute address okay and earlier when we referred to a cell we used like a2 i2 that's called relative reference or relative address 
and if we put a dollar sign in front of the row and column, then we're referring to the address as an absolute reference, which means that when we copy and paste this, a formula where this absolute reference has been used, um, the, the pasted formula is going to uh, stick with the same cell reference, the absolute reference, without changing it. Okay, and there are some situations which is relatively rare that sometimes we will um, fix, for instance, um, the, the row, like uh, row number two, but we will adjust the column when we copy and paste. In that case, we'll say a dollar sign two. If you want to fix the reference to the column, but change the row, which is the number here, accordingly, then you will say dollar sign A and number two. Okay. So let's see how we can do uh, this absolute reference. One way to do it is just type dollar sign here. Once we have done that, we can copy and paste the formula. Now you find out I'm referring to the same cell, I2. Okay. And there's another way to change an address like I2, which is um, a relative address to absolute address, is highlight the cell and then hit the function key F4. Okay, if you pay attention over here, you'll find out that uh, I hit F4 already, so it's changing to dollar sign I dollar sign two. If I hit it again, they change to I dollar sign two. If I hit it again, it's going to change to dollar sign I two. If I hit it once more, it come back to I two the relative address again. So this is the absolute address. Okay. Um, copy and paste, which we've done it. I'm going to do it again. So this will allow me to easily uh, duplicate the formula. And in the formula, the reference to this 10% will stay the same. Okay. Once that has done has been done, then now I can change this percentage. Okay, watch the number here and watch what I'm doing here. If I change to five percent, then all of the projected cells uh, will be increased by only five percent. Okay, and this is in spreadsheet we refer to this playing with the number called what if. We say what if the percentage is 10%? What, is, what if the percentage is 7%? Okay. And to single out the parameter that we want to play with um, as a separate cell and then refer to it, uh, refer to it in this case as a absolute address in our formula allowed us to play with what if analysis easily. And so this uh, concludes the first part of um, this exercise. And we will continue to discuss how to actually calculate the growth cell, the profit, or even calculate the percentage of the sales. Thank you.